So here in this video, what I want to convey is a different way of living. Generally speaking, we live from our problems. Meaning when we wake up in the morning, we think about what we want to do for the day based on what problems we have to solve. Whether it's I need more money, so I got to go to work or I got to pay this bill, so I need to ring this company or I had a row with my partner, I need to reconcile that. So <clears throat> what I'm talking about is living from your higher centers. And this is like a strange concept. If you haven't seen my video already of disidentifying from the mind, I highly recommend you watch that. First, you need to understand the, the difference between your mind and the higher part of yourself. It's like a lot of times you'll be having thoughts that you would rather not have. So the question is, is like who's having the thoughts and who is rather not having? It sounds all mad, right? But it's facts. It's like, you know, when you've got this voice in your head on repeat or like negative self-talk. Like, you know, on some level, you don't want it to happen, but it's happening anyway. Now, if there's negative self-talk but there's no questioning of that then this is really like an indication of where you are in terms of raising your vibration raising your consciousness living from a higher place it's all different ways to explain this this same concept of living from that higher place so when you start to get this power or understand really what it means to disidentify from the mind and start to live not necessarily with no mind because it's not it's not like that but you know you're just living out of the best version of yourself like what you want to do so what it is or what it feels like is really it's just you're in flow and there's no problems there's no stress there's no you know, even down to, because there's no arguments in your mind, you're living from a higher place. Even sometimes you can become tired or physically like, you know, like you're coming down with a cold or you're unwell. And you may not notice for a few days just because the, the usual conversation of complaint is not there, you know? So the question is, if you're not there already, is how do we live from our higher centers? How do we, yeah. How do we get there? And there's many practices. I'm going to give you two. One is to become more aware of your thoughts and just choose to not think negative thoughts. And, or even like, let's say it like this. It's not that you choose to think that is, is you choose to not entertain them. So it's got to a point now where, where, I might be thinking about a situation I don't want to think about or thinking about something negatively or, you know, especially when it considers me like, oh, I don't want this situation to go this way because this, that and the third and this and and all of that. Then I realize I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just thoughts. I don't need to live like that. I don't need to concern myself with worrying about that because all that I'm worried about is worry same with fear as well there's a saying which is the only thing to fear is fear itself and that's true when you get or you understand that fear is only possible with future or past only future really because you're worried about something happening let's say you're in the dark and you're worried that a boogeyman is going to come out the closet well, until that happens, there's nothing to worry about. There's no, there's nothing, there's no fight or flight response needed. So once you understand that intellectually, that's the first step to letting that go. And it's the same with just like who you know yourself to be based on your thoughts. Also, on a vibrational level, living from a higher place means that 
because your energy is higher, certain things don't affect you no more, just naturally. And there's a couple of ways to go about this, but really what I'm starting to understand is it has something to do with a Kundalini awakening. So I, I spoke about my uh, cosmic orgasm experience. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead. And that in a way is like jumps you up into a higher level. Now it doesn't need to be something so um, different, let's say, as that. But it can just be understanding your chakras and getting to know your energy centers within your body. So seven energy centers, just briefly, uh, different locations through the center of the body. If you go on YouTube and you type in Kundalini Awakening Guided Meditation, generally speaking, someone will coach you through breathing into these energy centers. And by putting attention, awareness on these energy centers, they start to come alive. They start to power up. And this powering up has you live from a higher place because I guess your energy raises such that your thought processes change. You, are what you become more aware. And with, through that awareness, you can hear the voice in your head and then you can start to discern between, okay, do I want this? conversation or do I not so the first thing I said is is to become aware of the voice in your head um, I guess this the second thing really is is about increasing your energy energy level through awakening your kundalini and um, but that actually wasn't the second one I, I wanted to go into the other one yeah well that's that's really it um, is that those are the two things you do it naturally by raising your consciousness raising your energy level raising your vibration whatever you want to call it raising your awareness your level of awareness then naturally you're living from a higher place and undoing the because who you are is, is not problems you know and then the second way or the first way is is intellectually is just knowing this is what I want this is not not for me and then like I said it really is like there's a part of you thinking this way and there's another part of you that's like no nah, I, don't, I don't I don't need to entertain that because you and it, it's about responsibility as well taking responsibility for your mood you know if you have resentment towards someone Mm, the most reason why that resentment is held in place is because your mind wants to be right. You want to be right. You want to be right about making that person wrong. Or said a different way, in order for me to let go of this resentment, I'd have to be okay with whatever they've done or they've you know that I perceive them to do so if you've been making somebody wrong in your head the only way to let it go is to admit to yourself that you was wrong for making them wrong and that's that's the bit it's, it's like you want to be right you want to be right about them doing you wrong I hope that makes sense So <laughs> living from a higher place, really, again, this video for me, for you, is to make you aware that this is possible. That it's not that like life is just, <clears throat> it's kind of like, if I said to you like, oh, you could get stronger physically by going to the gym, and then you could only do 10 push-ups, now you can do 100, now life becomes better in a lot of ways because you're more physically able you know uh, maybe your confidence increases you know it has it has a wide knock-on like health benefits happen it has a wide spectrum of benefit and it's the same way i'm making you aware of this notion of 
living from a higher place so that life occurs differently like the benefits i can't even really you can't quantify it's unquantifiable maybe it is quantifiable i don't know how you would measure the success of this with the exercise it's easy because it's like okay i couldn't do 10 now i can do 100 maybe it's you know how you experience life like how and yeah for me that's it it's just i'm just experiencing less stress less uh worry the conversations in my head's a lot better and subsequently my well-being my whole well-being my whole health is is better you know physically mentally emotionally energetically it works so so yeah so for me it's just about raising awareness of this concept of living from a higher place what that means is is that you're not entertaining a negative thinking therefore living out of those negative thoughts and also you know you know you need to understand that a lot of it is a self-fulfilling prophecy like if you're complaining in your head about you not feeling good then your body is going to become weaker and you may become sick because you've weakened your immune system if you got any value out of this video please like it give it the thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed what are you waiting for do it and um yeah man look after yourself